Okay, for my propane tank crucible, I ended up drilling some holes and soaking it in water so it wouldn't explode when I cut the top off. Once the top was cut off, I beat out a pour spout um, for the, to channel the aluminum, and then I drilled some holes and put in two eye bolts to uh, catch my crucible lifter. And then you can't see it here, but I ended up cutting off those bolts on the inside. Here's a set of tongs that I made when I was trying to figure out how I was actually going to do everything. Basically, I just took two pieces of uh, rod and beat out flat in the middle and then riveted in a screw. Then took some bar stock, cut it off, curved it, and then welded it to the ends. And hopefully, when everything's all said and done, um, I can use that to lift the crucible. But the problem is the bars are kind of short. And so I had to come up with a new thing so I wouldn't burn my hands. All right, for my lifter, all I did was I used my uh, forge, heated up some bar stock, and then put in some hooks, um, beat them around that uh, piece of bar on that anvil. Bit them around, welded it to a, uh, another piece of bar, and then I found out that that wasn't enough. It was too heavy. So I ended up welding a, uh, a handhold there in the middle. And that just hooks into the eye bolts on the crucible. Okay, for my mold box, I just took a piece of one by three board, cut it up, nailed it into two boxes, then took a, a gouge and gouged out some uh, slots for my molding sand to stick into. Then I came in and I attached some padlock casts at opposite quarters at opposite ends and so they'll only fit in from one direction. Alright so you've seen pictures of uh, our crucible tools and now we're going to kind of show you how this stuff's going to work. Um, we still have to practice with all this, and when, when uh, everything I saw in Foundry work says you need to set it up where you're working in a circle. So we're going to assume, or we're going to simulate that this is where the, uh, the actual furnace is, and the crucible's inside, okay? And then next to it, here is our uh, cope and our drag, which is uh, our, our mold, right? And we're going to simulate or assume that there's, you know, pattern and dirt and all that in there. Okay, so, I've got my two tools here. All right, now, see kind of how it works. All right, so we're going to come in with our little hooks right on the top of the furnace. And it's going to hook it in to the eye bolts. And then it lifts straight up. We bring it over to the mold. We hook it underneath, and then we just pour. Okay. Now, inside here, if you can see, I've got some uh, ingots. I got about five pounds of ingots to kind of simulate the weight. And what I need to do is just practice doing this because once I've got, you know, thousand degree of uh, molten metal, you know, I want to make sure that I can actually maneuver this stuff with the weight and the heat and the distance and all that. And as you can tell, I, I definitely needed some practice. So all I'm going to do is just keep doing that when I can hook and move and do all that sort of junk. Uh, I'll then uh, actually heat the furnace up and try to mold something. But I don't want to do that until I know what I'm doing because, uh, you know, it's a bad day to spill, you know, 1200 degree molten metal all over the place. So, till next time, you can always catch us online at www.tngun.com. Fits my point of view I'm getting